Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, beside me is Masami Nakajima. Hi. Hi. Everybody. Look at this. Hello. My name is Michal Hefer. And we're in this beautiful temple in the middle of Tokyo and it's yes. freezing and raining. It's freezing raining. <laughs> so uh, it was great to meet you face to face finally. Finally. And uh, we, uh, uh, Masami is a translator. Yes. Uh, Japanese, English, English, Japanese. Mm -hmm. So we thought of taking this uh, opportunity, this beautiful location, to talk about here, and we can see this beautiful temple, to talk about uh, a bit about the Japanese languages and challenges of translating from English into Japanese and uh, Japanese Hebrew. So, uh, Masami, what is the biggest challenge? Uh, in the Japanese language is what's most special? Uh, I think that the, the Japanese have four, uh, three different letters we use and the way uh, when we speak to that we have to be careful who I'm speaking to because that we have to sometimes change the, the, the sentences um, if I speak to elder people I have to use the, the correct word and if I talk to the customer we have to change the word so it depends which situation and who I'm speaking to I have to change everything and uh, order of the language is very different from the English so the uh, verb comes very end so we have to listen very carefully what people are trying to say and uh, convert into English or convert into Japanese so also in Hebrew we have also some uh, complexities so because in Hebrew we have one alphabet mm -hmm. but some letters are exactly the same and you won't know they sound the same and uh, we have male and female, so that makes it, uh, you have to adjust the words. And uh, Hebrew goes from left to right. Mm -hmm. Japanese goes right to right left, to left or up and down sometimes, mm -hmm, traditionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else can I say about Hebrew? Hebrew is a very short language. We have the prefixes together. Mm -hmm. So let's say three words in English can be one word in Hebrew. Oh. So usually when we translate from Hebrew into English, it it dub not doubles it's it takes a few times mm -hmm. oops and here we have some people coming <laughs> a touristic you. site <laughs> in tokyo <laughs> and uh okay anyway so it's it's challenging to translate uh, between the languages mm -hmm, and that's true. why it's great to have a wonderful professional like you yeah. that can help us on our translation tasks so michal Heffer and masami signing off in this beautiful shrine here in he tokyo needs